I am back finally to episode part two of a Tower Shoujo Beta Hanukkah version. Hanukkah out. Um, sorry, I'm not, I've been recording it. I'm not uploading much. I'm just lazy. Yeah. I don't remember any of the voices anymore. Except for Hanukkah, too, so it's the most easiest one to do. And Misha. He chan. <laughs> I don't know why I said this. Sorry, anyway, then. Misha stands there, a worried look on her face. I move my hand up and wave her, and I wave her, and wave away her concern with a grin. I'm fine, no harm done. As I say it, I notice a movement out of the corner of my eye. Following it, I see Shizune striding up to the wheeled bandit. All I can do is grimace in anticipation of what's to come. He looks at me to her and is standing looks stricken with fear. Looks like she has a reputation. She steps up to him confidently and crosses her arms. Seconds pass. Um, um, I. I didn't mean to. Without warning, she steps behind his wheelchair and latches onto the handles with an iron grip. Just like that, she starts to wheel him away. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, hold on! All I can do is look on with a music expression. He's screwed, isn't he? Misha Gwent Wiley, don't tell me she ex secretly enjoys Shizune doing this. Go easy on him, will ya? Hmm, I'm not sure I can do that, he chan Once she chan it to mine or something, she's very really stubborn. But I don't doubt her claim on bit. I can't help but notice I like the distinct need to lack of regret about it. Need a hand? I sound like I'm standing on the floor, popping myself up with an arm. Yeah, thanks. She reaches out a hand which I clasp in mine and level myself up with. She has a surprisingly strong get grip given her looks. Thanks. No problem. And with that, she merely walks off down the hall after Shizune. Still more than a bit days, I begin my journey to the library anew. Inside the library is a regular hub of busy activity. Students are furiously sleeping on desks, the wind whip flipping through unattended books and noticing how much students snoring is near constant. I'll be right back, I need to check something. I'm back, I'm sorry for that long break. A regular academic success. Glancing like, through the shelves, though I see Hanukkah at one of the small square tables. Considering its placement at the very back corner of the library, I'm surprised I even managed to catch sight of her. As I casually stroll up, I see her reading a book placed flat on the surface. Her left hand while holding her face and holding her hair back. Hey! <laughs> the face though. She looks up with a look of fright on her face. Attention evaporating as she catches sight of me. Ah, uh, he's out. Hey, you don't sound too enthusiastic now. Ah, uh, sorry. I was just reading it. I. As she looks away and she might fall into a seat opposite of her. Don't worry about it. What's the book? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's, uh, Dune. Dune, huh? Of all the genres, I think. I think her to read sci fi is pretty low down on the list. But I love sci fi. Halo! Rock on the back legs and the chairs that stare at the ceiling. The shadow of the stucco ceiling are surprisingly interesting to examine. Time passes I look closely at the roof above our, out of sheer boredom. As I do though, I find myself listening for the sound of Panico's book, or rather, the lack thereof. Not a single page has been turned since I started listening. I stop swimming for a second and look downwards. Panico? She keeps her face pinned to the page, only shifting her eyes upwards. It doesn't take much effort to see what she's doing. She's been attached to me like a third arm these past few days. Hey, Hanako? She looks up a pensive look on her face. I'll take good care of her. I look into those shy eyes of hers. I heard that. Regarding her eyes, she has violet. Or amethyst. Or purple. I don't care. It is possible to naturally be born. I read it. To be born. With like. Demise. Oh, I'll be like that. Anyways, I read about it. That it's uh. It's it's linked to albinoism. When you know the be the. Their skin doesn't develop. I think enough melatonin, which gives you the color of your skin. So it's this pale white, and they have like an, uh, something wrong with the eyes. So their eyes are red. And it's like, on the course of that, if it just stops, there was a place where you will get like purple eyes. I don't know, I'm pretty bad at explaining this, but yeah, you can. 
It's very well though, because of course it's all final, is it? Anyways, I know what I have to do. Wanna go outside for a bit? Outside? Yeah, some fresh air wouldn't hurt you, wouldn't hurt, would it? I give Mr. Chibi his green a stand from the chair. Before she can say a word, I take her hand, her face out, and become a mixture of surprise and embarrassment. He, he saw? I give a deep bow as I look to her, drawing the gaze of a few passing students. Thank God we don't live in Japan where we have to bow. Shall we take our leave? Shasta at Hanukkah closes the books and clumsily stuffs it into her bag, all the while staring at me with a shocked expression. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> Look how face is like <gasps> Oh there we go. Sure. Oh if I had face cam on, if I had a face cam, you would totally see like my face dying. Shouldering her back, she pulls herself up, putting a bit of slight strain on my hand across. I smiled at her gently, causing her to blush. Causing her blush to deepen, yet her eyes stay fixed on mine. By this time all activity around us has stopped. Everyone taken in this episode seems to be from every month novel ever, romance novel ever. I have to give her hand a slight touch to start her walking. Come on, let's go get that air. Still here, it's Hanukkah calls me up. Lights flash and sounds blur as you pass through the library's sensomatic doors. <laughs> There's her face again. <coughs> eight out of, hashtag best face of the year 2015. 8 out of 8. Hanukkah's shocked expressions, shocked expressions turned to one of terror, and she realized that it was her that caused this calamity. <laughs> Tell me without face. Blackbeard's eyes, her curiosity, she wants to long desk and open his bed. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I forgot I had it in time. The librarian smiles in a delicate manner, collects the book from the pile of Hanukkah. No question scans in your system. You take care now. I will, I'm, I will, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hanukkah packs the bag, hurriedly scooping the pile of books and stationery, stationery into the model of a open school bag. Alright, I think we've crossed as much calamity as possible. Let's leave these poor people in peace. The director of Hanako faces her gaze firmly on the ground and follows me out of the library. You wander aimlessly drifting from the main building towards the gate and following me on the great wall. Along the way, I get the two cans of iced tea and hang one to the stairs. Stare at Smart and Hanako. Here, this to take your mind off things. Nothing like a bit of tea to calm down the mind. D D thanks. It doesn't take a genius to tell that she's still distracted. Now, I would have been like, <laughs> so that was that happened, right? <laughs> I sit down on a nearby bench and Hanako slightly copies me, carefully balancing her school bag against the bench before opening the can. I cannot. I cannot. I cannot believe. Lily's pretty strong, you know, she'll be up and about in no time. It was only a minor operation, she'll be back before we know it. Hanako went her finger around the carriage room, slowly gazing into it as if she'd held, as if it held all the answers to life questions. I... I know all that, but I don't know what to do. I don't know what I can do. Uh, what do you mean? The finger stops in his travel bow and makes you push firmly against the can. If, if, if it were one of us in that bag, you think that Lily would be doing something? Can't say I'm following you here. I'm going to take a sip of a tea. I don't think I am either. I just want to do something for her, but I can't. I feel powerless. Who watch flow forth on a river of melancholy? The heck? Melancholy? I don't care. But there are undercurrents of something else. Determination. That has to be it. Beneath Hanukkah's obvious lame thing, there's a. Sorry for pausing this a lot. In an instant, my vision of Hanukkah is shattered and rebuilt. She truly cares for Lily and wants to help her out. No matter what. Then we have to end this soon. I think people are coming upstairs. It's a minute Hanako disappears completely from my mind, I then veil that it is. What? What's the matter? Shooting myself back into reality, I realize I've been staring at the flesh and blood Hanako while I was amusing myself. Oh, uh, it's nothing. I'm 
I was just thinking that you've changed since we met. Dang it, I'm not going to these words. But now I think I can see the truth behind them. The, don't be silly. The faint smile turned on the corner of Hanukkah's lips upwards immensely believing. Say, how about we go together and visit Lily today? Hanukkah gingerly raises a can to her lips and nods as she takes a drink. Our interview is interrupted by the distant ring of the bell, so we must back to the classroom. Best be getting back. We'll leave straight after class, right? Okay. The first thing I notice is I enter the classroom is a contemplative Shizune carefully cleaning her glasses. For some reason, the only thing I think of is the terrified look of the wheelchair-bound student from the start of lunch. I take advantage of Shizune's temporary distraction and whisper on me, says, Yeah. Hey, d did that guy survive? What did she do with him? What did she do to him? Misha points at my attention, seeming all too eager to answer. I don't know. But. Wait, don't! Too late. Misha over had already spun around and is tapping Shizune's shoulder. Which I'm grabbing Misha's hand before she can start incriminating me. The warm, soft hands. Wait, there's no time for fantasy. I need to stop her. That's going to Shizune the question. Eh? He's out? Confessing? To me? No, that's not it at all. Dot, dot, dot. Misha pouts in an overly fake manner. You mean? Just wanted to stop you before you ask Shizune about that. I have a feeling she'd take it the wrong way. Wahahaha! <laughs> he, Jan, you make her sound like some kind of bad person. Just take a look at her. I didn't know why she could be a bad person. Just promise me you won't ask her that. Okay. I reach Misha's hand, which immediately go to the business. Much the business of communication with Shizune. Dang it, I can tell Shizune knows that something is up, but I can't follow a single thing either of them are saying. But from the look on Shizune's face, I can guess. I think I may have a walk in a demon. <laughs> he chan. Shizune, Shizune wants to have a word with you. She wants to remind you that the student counter is here for the students, not for their own amusement. Any disciplinary, me any disciplinary measures put in a place are solely for the benefit of the student body, and not for the entertainment of the student council. What exactly did you say to her? Oh, I can't remember anymore. <laughs> ah, she chan has one more thing to say. That boy will bother you no more. My blood runs cold. I thought what these two would do at a fellow student. Thankfully, I am freed from the stairs.